I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. Basically, I was having an issue installing the Picture Saver System program to my new computer. Now, this program was working under my old computers. I had about three computers I had installed it on, a couple of laptops, and I can run the program with no issues whatsoever. But it turns out that Kodak, the link to register the software no longer works. So it was unable to run because it kept saying, un, um, it gave me an error that it was unable to access the internet and was unable to successfully register the program and some type of WIBU key error, something like this, this folder here or this file here, some kind of error. So I had no idea what to do. I called the phone number I found on the internet for Kodak and turns out Kodak no longer supports uh, the actual system, uh, the actual scanner, I believe, or the program, or the software, and um, that the link no longer existed to register the program. There was I had no idea where to go, maybe to change the link page. I have no idea. So... My issue was I needed to install it on a new computer and I couldn't do it. So these are the things I ended up doing to get the program working. Now you do this at your own risk. So I'm going to make it as brief as possible. So basically I installed the program. Um, well, let me go step by step. So what I ended up doing, I went to my old computer. And I copied, I went to the C Program Files x86 folder. I went in there and I found these folders. The Kodak, the Win WIBU key, and WIBU system folder. Now, again, do this at your own risk. I copied these folders to a USB stick from my old CPU where the picture scanner system software had been working and still worked and was no issues so I copied it. once that was done I went to my old to my new CPU and I installed the picture saver system program and I rebooted it um, then I ran the program and I was still getting the same error WIBU key unable to access the internet so I closed those windows out and what I did was um, I continued without registration and the installation was successful. I then went in with the new uh, at the new computer, and I went into the Programs Files x86 folder. This is all Windows computers, if you haven't figured that out. I don't know about Mac, but this is what I did on Windows. And I pasted the contents of the USB drive, which were the Kodak folder, the WIBU key, and the WIBU systems folders to the to the new computer's programs x86 folder. I overrid, it'll ask you if you want to replace the folder and contents. I did on the new computer. I then rebooted the computer. After rebooting the computer, I then reinstalled the program, rebooted the computer again. This is all on the new computer. And then the program started working, okay? So pretty much these are the instructions that I followed. I hope they're helpful and I hope this helps you if you're having the same issue I had. Do this at your own risk. It worked for me. Hopefully it will work for you. These are the folders you're looking for. These are the ones that ended up working for me to get this program working. And you need that USB key too. You know what I'm talking about if you're running this program. All right, so I hope this uh, video helps you. I hope it works. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye now.